All right, hey, welcome to another uh, Overwatch Analyze video gameplay replay analysis of a comp game in bronze. Um, so these are tips and ideas for things that you can do in bronze because that is the elo hell I live in. But today, today is a good day because I finally get to talk about dive um, and what dive is and running a dive comp. Um, dive, let me just tell you off the part, is is not an easy comp to run because it requires communication and I don't talk to people in bronze. Why would you? So it makes it harder to run something that requires a lot of communication whereas Double Barrier, the current meta, does not. So with that said, I want to go ahead and just say it right here um, that myself on Winston uh, our Mercy and our Diva, we are all grouped up and know each other. Um, and we're pretty much on our mains. Um, I, I, I have a lot of mains. I play a lot of different heroes, but Winston is one of the most heroes I've played. So he can be a main. Um, and Mercy and Diva, uh, Diva's pretty much a Diva main. Um, and, and Mercy plays a lot of other characters too, but, you know, could be said as to be a Mercy main as well. So that helps a lot in running Dive Comp. So, well, what the heck is Dive Comp, okay? You're gonna hear it a lot. Alright. So, normally, you've got two tanks, right? And they, they got their shields going. And then you got DPS behind the tanks, shooting things off from behind shields. And then back here, you've got supports, you know, uh, just giving the love to anyone who needs it up above. And you know, you're not always lined out in this, this nice stack, but that's kind of generally the idea. Tanks up front, DPS where they can see and shoot stuff, and the supports are where they can hide behind walls and heal when needed, but stay out of the line of sight because they don't want to get popped by a Widow or a Lucky Honda or anything like that. And that's the general idea uh, of a force moving forward. So what Dive says is the tanks here, which for this to work, is almost exclusively a Winston and D.Va comp. Um, Hammond, the Wrecking Ball, the, the, the Rodent, possibly could work in a Dive comp as well. What you need is mobility. You can't run Orisa. You can't run a Roadhog. Uh, Reinhardt's going to have a hard time. Um, Zarya can throw an assist bubble to a diving Winston, but you're really not doing a dive comp with that because they don't have the speed to get in and, more importantly, the speed to get out. Because what the tanks want to do here is say, you know what? Screw your front line. We're going to jump back to these supports, okay? And we're going to kill them. And then we're going to get back out here to the love of our support team, all right? And while all this is going on, our DPS can be wherever they want to be because everybody's worried about the D.Va and the Winston in the back line killing the supports. Um, maybe the tanks decide to charge forward and do something, but as long as our supports can get away and DPS can step aside, eh, no big deal, and they're leaving their team to die because these guys are... These four back here are all nice squishy targets for a Winston and a Diva to just delete. Um, so let's talk about, real quick before we get into this, what an ideal execution of a Winston and Diva dive will look like. Um, if um, support line, uh, Zen can send an orb. Uh, Mora can throw a ball in and not have to heal. Lucio can go and get himself out. Um, Brig is kind of an anti-dive hero. She's not really good to go in on the dive, um, <clears throat> but she can kind of stop a dive. So if you're getting dived and it's working, going to a Brig is not a bad idea. Similar to um, uh, Baptiste, um, he's got a lot of stuff in his toolkit to shut down a dive um, in there. So I would say uh, Mercy's excellent. Mercy can fly in with the dive and fly out with the dive. Um, as long as you're Mercy, 
you know, can can dodge some, taking some shots. Uh, hopefully she's at the focus and knows where to stand. But if your Mercy is a little bit, wants to be a little bit more aggressive and get in there, that works perfectly. Um, so what, what it would look like in our sense, so say we got two uh, supports and they're chilling back here. Okay, so the D.Va will dive in, okay, and use this nice defense matrix at first, all right? On, like, enemy DPSs um, <clears throat> or anything like that. And shut down any damage, right? While Defense Matrix is up, D.Va can be missling the crap out of a support, okay? At the same time this happened, Winston won't take much of a higher route because he wants to jump pack land. So as you're Winston, you want to land on them, take jump pack damage, give them a nice little uh, punch, right? Um, <clears throat> on top of that, at the same time that you land on it. So it's a, it's a jump pack land, it's a punch, and then it's a Tesla cannon out to everything. And then, and this is kind of getting crazy over here, but when the D.Va Matrix runs out, then Winston drops his bubble down for the D.Va and the Winston and maybe the Mercy that are over here to all have a moment, maybe to get that final kill. But at that point, we need to be thinking about our exit strategy and getting out. Dive is not going in and staying in, okay? Uh, it may work that way sometimes, but dive is about taking opportunity Picking off somebody that is isolated or away from the team, hopefully it's a support because it's high value if they are, and then getting back to your team before the enemy team has realized we can just walk forward because there's no front line anymore. You've, you've given up a front line. Um, DPS that can work with dive. Genji can work very well. Genji can get in and get out. Reaper, any flanking character, tracer, um... You know, any character that's designed to flank works can work very well with the dive because they can just all go in with the dive as well. Benefit from the Diva Matrix, benefit from the bubble as well. Um, and if you have a full dive like that, then that's right where you want to think of like, yeah, Lucio makes sense uh, so we can do some area of effect healing. Keep in mind, barriers block a lot of healing. Okay, there's very few heals that go through barriers. This is an advantage and a disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage because when you're behind the line, it's easier for barriers to cut you off from your Lucio uh, healing. But also, as a Winston, dropping the barriers around the supports cuts off healing to the entire enemy team. Enough theory. Enough theory craft. Uh, I'm going to start it here um, and, and let the timer begin uh, counting down on this. Um, I've watched a little of this game. Uh, I obviously, I know how it turns out. Um, but uh, the bits I've watched to make sure my recording rig was good and set up good to go again, um, you're going to see a bad dive off the beginning, okay? Um, we don't pull this off at the beginning. Um, just to note, too, they've got a Reaper on their team, and that's a pretty good anti-tank. Um, one good thing about the dive... Um, is they have a Symmetra. And other than Winston, we don't have barriers for her to become this crazy um, beam monster from melting barriers and have a charge three up. Um, so, I, I kind of talked over it a little bit, but um, when we started here um, in this opening salvo, uh, you'll see here, I'm not going to do too much pausing and get over that, uh, I jump on a Reaper, um, and the Reaper teleport was in the middle of a teleport away, so he's kind of up and away. Um, we're on the point, and we do take down a Mercy early, but at, at the point that we dived a Reaper, and it was not a support target, and he got away, we need to think about a regroup and a redive. All right, um... We kind of botched that one. That was kind of on the tanks being a little over aggressive and not everybody's going to save us. So there is one thing uh, I do want to go in specifically on uh, in this opening here and not in our comms is our Moria. Because um, I think there's some really good Moria play here um, in general. Now I'm not, this flank isn't the best. Um, you know, you get a cheeky damage orb out, that's cool. Um, 
but we're spending a lot of time away from the team, you know? Uh, people are getting hurt, it's not that great. Um, <clears throat> but, the more you hear, and granted, the play's already falling apart this time. This high ground position, um, is really good for Amoria. This is a good positioning this Moria is in right now in general. Uh, they're in a position not to take damage, but heal and damage themselves. Um, of course now they're a little bit behind enemy lines. And yeah, I'm gonna say we have a bit of a DPS Moria, uh, on the team. Um, if you're playing Moria, remember you're a support first, damage second. Uh, you're good at anti-dive. You're good in a lot of situations where Moria needs to uh, do some damage. But it's best used protecting the other support and assisting DPS than it is being a budget Reaper. Um, you know, if, if you want to do this, do Reaper. Um, which, in this next play um, <clears throat> here, let's go ahead and jump back to the point. Um, as we come out for the next play here, except for uh, Mora, who's, who's way off, um, Reaper uh, goes on a crazy flank that he really should not have run to the entire team. So now at this point, um, our Mora is, is back to the point um, and alive, miraculously, did get killed, and their Reaper did. Um, this is bronze. This is bronze in a nutshell. This is the mistakes you're making as bronze. Um, Reaper should have set up in a nice position, like he did at the start. In the start, uh, he teleported up here um, to, to pounce, right? That had been a great position to get to for the next push. As we came around the corner, he could wait until everybody walked past, picked a high-value target, pounced, Reaper does the reaping, and then just began to come in from behind and clean up. Um, but instead, he didn't do that, um, he got picked early, and now it's 5v6. Um, and at this point, we're able to dive, got the bubble on the point, early here, um, just to cut off healing. Now, Mercy's beam goes through the heals, uh, but their second healer, Moria, who, who we did get to kill on the jump, would have had a lot less time. She couldn't have spray healed. She could have only orb healed through the barrier. Um, that's also going to prevent a lot of damage going back and forth um, across that barrier for other heroes. They got a Winston in this. So at this point, our D.Va down there focused on the Mercy, did their job. So I got a pick on the um, Mora um, with assistance from our Mora, if you look at the kill feed. Uh, and... Diva finished off the Mercy. We've done our job. Now it's just clean up. Um, now here's another uh, bronze play. Winston here is low on health. Um, does he do it here? No, it's not this push. I'm sorry. This push is Reaper coming in. Uh, but it's way too late for Reaper to have done anything. And we cap... But they do not regroup. Reaper still has not come back. And we've got a DPS and two supports going around the side. Um, I am Winston. Winston, uh, blue team. I'm taking up a high ground position just so I can have some visibility to kind of plot out where I want to dive onto next. Um, D.Va down there did a good job defense matrixing the damage orb. That is something as D.Va is kind of. Uh, almost like a main job. Uh, if if they if you're fighting against an enemy Mora, uh, you can defense matrix the attack orbs uh, and just get rid of them. It just takes a quick right click. You recharge it in no time, um, and then your team doesn't have to worry about that because that orb can actually add up to a lot of damage. So once we've realized, once I've realized they are coming around the back here, okay, that that's going to be the play. The moment here for the dive is an impatience, right? Once the tanks have gotten onto the point, right? Once the tanks are here, right? There's the Winston, there's the Reinhardt. Once they are getting and committing down to the point, Mercy back here is now my prime target, right? So let the play develop uh, before you go ahead and start your dive. 
Now, now, Mercy did zoom away, right? And uh, <clears throat> got away from us. But we got a Mora instead, and we got a Symmetra over here. So, take advantage of that. Um, our Far is having a good time. Uh, mostly because they don't... Well, their Reaper did go, uh, Soldier. But he was split off from this fight. Uh, so, so now we've picked a bunch. There needs to be a regroup on Red at this point. That push fell apart. They need to regroup. But we're gonna trickle in because we're bronze. And... At this point, I think we, uh, I might have talked over it. Let me back up on it here. We have three people down. This was not the time for Winston to invest in all. You really need to be a, hand, a heads up on using your alts. If your team's dead, I mean, this is the most basic. Ideally, you want to make sure the team is grouped up and together to capitalize. Uh, unless you're in an overtime situation and you're stalling a point. Hitting tab and bringing up the screen before you hit Q and just saying, my team is alive, is all it takes to be effective down here in the gutter of bronze. So, yeah, Winston's going to feel good. He knocked the support off. But he's not really going to do anything effectively. Uh, because we've cleaned up. And, again, if we go into uh, our soldier here for a second, he just has an excellent spot to work from. Okay? He's got great sight lines to the point. Uh, the enemy is not going to necessarily charge into him. He can take the other side like he just did. If you're playing a soldier, this is what you want to be doing. You may not even think about it right there. But the hammer down into a bubble was a bad play. Um, but it's a, it's a good time for me to go ahead and counter all here um, into them. Uh, to stop any capitalization on it. Um, and there we, we just shut down a Mercy all Like, th it is great play by our uh, enemy soldier there. Or our, I'm sorry, our team soldier uh, to take the high ground in that moment. And somehow, it felt like we had all good plays and I was just capitalized on us. Um... But that fell apart, didn't it? Let's just rewind. How did that fall apart? Let's just rewind. Because we were, um... I don't want to rewind to the soldier uh, view. What I want to know is... We dropped there Winston. Our soldier has good high ground. We dropped there Moria. We dropped their soldier. So he hammered down, but none of us got none of us. Okay, now I popped an ult to counteract the hammer down that really didn't do anything. Our soldier's popping off big, he gets two kills there. Okay, so I got trapped in uh, a duel with a um, Reinhardt that I don't want to be taking. Um, I know it happened now that I'm on replay, uh, watching this back. I wanted to knock the Reinhardt off, and I ran out of ult trying to do so. Um, once I lost that, I do not want to be within hammer range of Reinhardt as Winston. That's not a duel I'm going to win. And trying to get out to my mercy, I ate it to uh, an ulting Moria. Uh, who was then able to also, um, get a double off that. Um, the tanks are gone. So at that point, the DPS, uh, the team's gonna fall apart. We are, however, unlike Red Team, 
pulling out and grouping up. Um, our soldier clutch manages to get away back to Mercy. Um, and we're able to repeat a clean dive. Now, this, this I do remember. This is great, great Overwatch, great bronze level uh, play right here. Camera, will you not? Can you not, please? So, here on the point, uh, I'm going to do a dive in, right? And establish the bubble on the point to sort of make healing and DPS uh, have some problems. Our Diva's on the point. And that Diva Bomb is mostly... We got hit by a Symmetra turret over there and took a lot of damage. But at this point... At this point... Reinhardt. Do you think it's a good charge? Or do you think the play was just hold up your shield? Because you have almost all your health. You could hold up your shield. But instead, you charged it to an unsuspecting Winston who thought he was safe behind the Symmetra. This is not a beautiful cleanup. It's not actually, you know, it's not going to be an attack book cleanup. But, um, fun fact about Winston, um, is he does the most damage of any hero in the game. When he's hitting all six teammates uh, at once. Now, <clears throat> since we capped the point, um, this is a good spot for us to take up here. Okay? Coming out here now, um, this far forward, and, and distracting them as they come back in and doing a dive into uh, them as they try to get back onto the point. Um... Shuts down this, this drive. Um, because while we have abandoned our team a little bit, right? And that is the risk of dive, okay? Um, while we abandoned our team a little bit, we have taken both their healers out. Uh, yes, they flipped it. But at this point, um, we're going to be able to clean up, invest our all, all of our, the ults got used there. Uh, flip it back again, and we will close out the round. Ready for battle. Alright, we'll see how it goes on round two. Um, anybody make any significant team changes? Uh, we seem to be set still on, um... Three. Winston and Reinhardt uh, with uh, Mercy and uh, Mora we're facing into. And we're still Reaper and... Uh, we've gone back to Reaper and Sim. Um, and on our team, we're sticking with Farah. Uh, and Soldier worked out well. Now again, um, this is a bit of a solo dive for the Winston here. Um, but... I can isolate a healer. Right? So that's always good. Um, we have lost a healer and a uh, DPS. Uh, they've lost a tank and a DPS at this point. The objective is now active. <clears throat> but we're kind of in a better group position here, I would say. Sorry, I'm trying to work this camera better, guys. Um, managed to get control of the point, even though it's still a bit messy. Um, and everybody's kind of trickling in uh, both sides while we try to hold this. It's going to flip here. Alright, it did. Um, and now, um, we're sort of regrouping. So at this point in the game... Um, uh, I'll go ahead and go into my perspective here and try to see if I can't, um, give a little bit more of what my thinking is here, which at the moment I was just surveying what the options were, right? 
Um, and... Don't know that if I jump over to Diva Cam. Um, yeah, Diva is demeched. So that was a messy dive. <clears throat> Reaper is a problem for our dive here. Right? Uh, we're working pretty well. And I don't know if it's necessarily a switch uh, up here. But <clears throat> um, we need to be more careful. Uh, diving into Reaper. That's something we can work on here. So, back to camera is me here. Um, this is something that's just sort of developed in my play style is a, is a flick jump here where um, I like to flick the camera back up and um, look straight up to pull off a jump so that I can really position myself um, and here, you know, I'm ulting and always looking for the off-the-map hit, um, which I don't think I'm going to get anybody on this run. Um, at this point, I know I won out. Uh, and fortunately, I luck out in that my support team is right here. Now, I did talk about, um, double barrier meta, right? Uh, how the, the the meta here at this moment uh, is a double barrier. If you have somebody you can communicate with, um, and you know, we probably should communicate a little bit more and sync up our dives. Um, you know, that's evident from from watching this. Um, <clears throat> it's a good alternative when you're facing double barrier. Uh, when you're playing into double barrier because Winston's Tesla cannon doesn't care about barriers it goes through them uh, Diva can dive past them um, and since you're not running double barrier you're not giving a Symmetra an easy way to charge um, her uh, her ultimate so there you go, there's my flick jump, trying to uh, pick a good spot to land on. Um, but at this point, it kind of just got a messy, um, wasn't really a plays type game. You know, it was bronze, it became bronze, uh, it became everybody just kind of running in, and uh, <clears throat> we we sort of won that out. And, you know, there's no reason to say that we wouldn't have, uh, you know, couldn't have, have lost that. It couldn't have gone just as bad uh, for the enemy team there as well. But uh, where am I at? I thought I was... There we go. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you ever want to drop in and, and chat live with, uh, with me and the D.Va player, who is uh, John... Uh, and is my um, stream partner um, over on uh, These Are Video Games, um, which you can find us on Twitch at uh, thesearevg.com uh, um, or uh, twitch.com, twitch.tv slash thesearevg, all one word. Join us there uh, and drop by in. Hey, we'll, we love talking Overwatch strats and, you know, Sometimes it's better to talk with somebody who's also in a bronze silver uh, than it is to take advice from somebody who's grandmaster who's just making assumptions that, you know, bronze people can't aim or don't know basics of the game. It's like, well, you know, there are these skill differences, but also let's just say maybe the ranking system isn't perfect and um, <clears throat> not all tactics work at all levels the same. Thanks for watching.